if you multiply that uh, with the numbers out there, you can imagine that's big money. Next yeah. question would be, um, as far as you know, is there any specific treatment for people who are tested positive on COVID-19? No, there's nothing especially for uh, this uh, kind of virus. As, uh, you have to use an antiviral treatment and there is, let's say, in some natural uh, approaches and other approach of uh, pharmacology, you can use teas, you can use uh, chloroquine, you can use a lot of other things which are out there and very well known, but you can't make a big money with that. So you can use that to attack, so to speak, this virus. But school medically spoken, there is only a so-called symptomatical treatment which deals with the symptoms that you have. Uh, in 98 to 99.5% that's totally sufficient. Just people who are already uh, have a treatment which is either immune suppressive or have one, two, three other very severe diseases such as uh, renal diseases, Sorry? Uh, uh, diabetes mellitus, uh, uh, heart diseases. So they are already really under a lot of stress. They, of course, can be the last tip and then that's the problem. And we have to know that it's very sad, but that's how it is, that elderly people, uh, which are then having two or three diseases underlying, they, of course, they have a lot of troubles and I would not recommend like any year to expose them a lot to this kind of viruses but that is like every year it's the same year the same and it's also this year the same. Next question would be um, if there is any kind of treatment of the disease itself mm -hmm. uh, is there any suggestion you could give uh, in prevention in yeah. preventing oneself and uh, in order to get your immunological system strong and strong enough to, to beat that virus? Definitely. Expose yourself to a lot of light, to fresh air. See that your vitamin D uh, level is high enough. Use drops if you can't do otherwise or tablets. Uh, clean yourself, hold hygiene, have communication with others, talk to others, uh, lead a joyful life filled with dancing filled with really expressing yourself. If you already got ill, then don't forget the good old means like inhalation, uh, tea, different kinds of teas, of course. There is a lot out there and uh, you can normally count on 10 days to 14 days to be very quiet and then the thing is over, like every year. So, our last question for that uh, short mm. video. To whom is this collective uncertainty and panic useful? And what could be the major purpose behind it? As it seems as uh, all these uh, elements and all these uh, facts and things that we saw now together, they show that this is absolutely a not... Uh, it, it doesn't correspond. The reaction worldwide doesn't correspond to the problem. It destroys uh, the economics of our countries, it totally crashes into the wall, it destroys the relationships, it uh, doesn't really do any good, as we can see. And uh, my teacher shows me that it's no correlation in reality between that what happens and that what causes it. So there is a let's say, guessing that uh, somebody wants that something which is even more obvious or more dangerous is not seen. Uh, there is a lot of ideas out there, and I'm not a financial expert, especially not worldwide economy, but it seems that if uh, you dive deeper, then you may find an event which is called event 201, which took place in the uh, middle of October, the 18th of October in New York, sponsored by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, hosted by the John Hopkins University, and also supported uh, severely by the WHO, uh, where, let's say, 
global players, about 20, from touristic uh, influencers, from uh, politics, mainly from pharmaceutical industries, also from uh, all kinds of transport system, including UPS, played a scenario, what do we have to do a pandemic virus? The virus there even was called uh, the virus there even was called uh, coronavirus, as N coronavirus, and uh, the outcome was that a severe threat was spoken out that if a pandemic uh, from this size caused by a simple virus uh, would cost 65 million people's life worldwide in a very short period of time. That was used to put pressure on many people. Uh, interesting enough, uh, Mr. George Fugao, who happens to be the, the boss or the chairman of the Chinese uh, Institute for Controlling Diseases and Illnesses, and of course part of that is also the laboratory, the very special laboratory in Wuhan, was also part of that in scenario. Uh, only four to six weeks later, all this started in Wuhan, where many people don't really know how all this happened, why it happened, and under which uh, cases that happened. And then it happened like ping pong, this data were put in the uh, data which are to see worldwide. In Berlin, in the Charité, was a test developed, sent to China, and all this dynamic started. To make it short, you can inform yourself about that, I will send you the links, but it seems on a very, very big and deep level that the whole financial system of our world is about to crash or crashed already. It has to do with the so-called uh, derivate market. I'm not a specialist, I do not really get a hold of that, but it seems to be the backbone of our financial world. Everything seems to go down the river, make your own opinion, and uh, that whole that whole <laughs> that whole uh, coronavirus panic collective attack uh, is a high option. Just wants to distract from the real problem. I sent the links to you. I wish you all the best. I want to speak out. There is no need at all to be afraid. Relax, look at the information, connect, communicate, keep your vibes high, praise God, and enjoy your life. All the best.